Yo, yo. Happy Saturday night, everyone. See who's really about it. Right? Get some sources. Facts, right? Facts. Saturday yeah. night, Black Friday weekend. Yep. That's where Anyone in here is going to be the real killers. Yeah. Repeat after me. Buy FEM Replenish. Buy FEM Replenish. Let me see it come into the chat there. Let me see it come into the chat. Buy FEM Replenish. If you're watching this on the replay, put it in the comments. Right, that's the only thing I need. I should be hearing out of anyone's mouth the next six months, six weeks. Buy FBM, you replenish. You buy, you list FBM, you sell through, you ship it out, zero day handling time, and then you buy more, and then you storefront stock from there, and then you find more items, then you FBM those, right? And you just you squeeze that momentum until the wheels fall off in early January when uh, FBA competition comes back in stock and you need to start fba again yes thank you pickle rick thank you that's the anthem right there yes thank you good 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 work pickle rick absolutely buy fbm replenish is this live it is 803 on saturday november 25th absolutely yes absolutely tripping around life we're live right we got gary here with me we're going to source a little bit right um now these Black Friday deals are going to keep going through like Tuesday, right? So you got a lot of time to execute on the stuff. Now, the most effective stuff in terms of overall wealth accumulation is going to be buying a bulk OA product or pickup orders and retail arbitrage and getting items on market as quick as possible, right? Because that's where you're going to really, really be able to learn quick, right? So everyone should be making FBM sales daily or working towards that in terms of having product on the way and such um, because it's the best time of year. And we need everyone to squeeze the wealth because we're not going to get this opportunity for another year after this. So we need everyone ready. Pickle Rick understands. Trent yeah. understands. You buy, you FPM, you replenish. Right? It's a very, Isaiah, very simple. Daniel, Haven, Gear, what up, what up? We need all that in our life. Yeah. Um, so if you guys got any questions, let us know. If not, I'll hop in and uh, start sourcing here. But restock, how often is that usually? Um, so it, uh, right when you sell the item, you know, buy more of it if you can. Let's go. I've been doing FBA for a long time. Nice. Cool. Well, you're in the right spot, man. It, let us know if you got any questions, Warner. Let us know any questions. <sighs> cool. All right, let's get it. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. I'm going to get the screen share going. Garrett's going to be manning the chat per usual. Right? 200 poly mailers and SAS. That's all you need. And a, and a dream. <laughs> and a dream. <laughs> yeah, and the dream right there. Cool. Sweet. All right, let's get it. So uh, we're going to start off. We're going to take a look at Famous Footwear right here. For this video, I have a list of like 10 different websites. We're going to manual source. Um, a lot of which are uh, really profitable and such. All of these websites you're going to see I've bought and made thousands in profit on as well. So these are all suppliers that I've had um, success with. And then if you want a full list breaking down a lot of the different uh, my favorite sales, 50 favorite top sales, the FBA roadmap's linked um, in the description as well. It's $100 off this weekend only um, right there. So you can check that out if you're interested. But we can see uh, Famous Fuller's got to buy one, get one half off right here uh, in store and online. So we'll take, out, take a look at the men's right here. And uh, let's see what we got. So we got... Uh, men's shoes it's looked like can we just do like in general <clears throat> general types of items here let's see black friday but ooh, i like this up to 30 percent off nike nike for the whole family <laughs> and we have, uh buy one 50 off here let's see ah oh okay first pair so we got some exclusions here okay so let's actually take a look at only the stuff that the bogo actually works on i guess we'll start out in shoes take a look at some other stuff too but i guess it is famous footwear so i don't really think they have clothing like that so let's see. Okay, so we got three thousand items right here, and then let's see. So let's uh, let's fill it trans. Take a look at Nike stuff. Get some layups here. Let's get some momentum built. You ever bought off famous footwear, Garrett? Oh, big time for back. Yeah, to I remember. Last year. Yeah. yeah, Black Friday two years ago. I know. I oh, okay, cool. All right, so that's only uh only like hundred and eighty items here. So let's see what what stuff. So some of the stuff, like I know for a fact, these are good from other suppliers too. Um, but let's see. Okay, give me all right. Impact four. Let's take a look at those. Right. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm scrolling through. We're thinking, what could we see selling for double or more on Amazon? Men's core legacies. I found those profitable um, elsewhere too. Let's see. Okay, they're excluding a lot of stuff here, which I don't love. Um, but let's see. The nice thing is either way, we're seeing we got the grandpa shoes right there. We're seeing SKUs that are good um elsewhere too. But so yeah, they're they're uh, excluding a lot. Promo code excluded right there. Okay, cool. So they got a lot of the stuff excluded, unfortunately. So we're probably gonna uh all right, so let's veto famous footwear right here. Let's take a look at uh, let's start out our friends over at WSS right here. And the nice thing is we can see we get another ten percent off right here. And I saw on uh, Capital One Shopping, 
that there's actually a 15% off. So we can check if that works. Um, if it's on here, it probably does. But either way, we know we're getting another 10 or 15% off um, right here. So let's see. Let's start out in the sales section right here. Let's go buy Brown. Let's start out Nike here. <coughs> Look at like some beauty stuff too, though. Okay, let's see. All right. So. And he says this shit works. Of course it does. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So let's see. Who is that? Andy61265. Cool. Hey, Even right. you guys are the goats. I purchased a product that had been broken, sales rank, disappeared, and it sold. That we don't make this stuff up, people. Right. Good work. Yeah, good work. Good work. Hell yeah. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm taking a look at all these items and we're thinking, okay, what can we see selling for double or more on Amazon after that additional discount? Right. So we know we're getting at least another 10% off. Um, although I do think this 15% is gonna work too. Um, right here. So, right, we can see. I don't really think these could go. This t-shirt looks great at 15 plus 15 off um, right there. And then so we'll, let's, let's take a look at some of this other stuff. Uh, these belts possibly um, right here. This uh, uh, Some of those look a little expensive. Especially for youth, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking too. Um, right here. Oh, these look great. Though. I feel like low-key some of those like baby onesies go for like 35 on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot of good RA with that too. Men's, ooh, if they got extra small here, these, these become good too. Um, I could see this doing well here. 45, yeah, something like that. Let's see. Sportswear that looks a little expensive for that. Um, ooh, okay, these are cheap too. Like 24 bucks for these looks potentially nice right here. So yeah. So let's take a look right here. So, right. What I like to do with manual sourcing is just start out and batch up a bunch of listings that I think can be good and then just try to get in a rhythm of just uh taking a look at these guys right here. So let's see, black white. Let's see what we got. Okay, all right. I'm we're looking very bullish here. Um, so this we have yes, yeah, so we got five to six and a half right here. <clears throat> uh, like the lines right there oh it does yeah here we go okay so we can see right there yeah so it's got the lines it's got like the different material right and then it gets some different material as well right there cool ah i think those are different though let's try image searching you see if we can find a match here though star run rack room <clears throat> we have to do a little bit more occasionally it can be difficult to figure out if it's the right thing um i don't think those are the right thing though Let's see, victory one shower slide. So we got seven, eight, nine here. Let's see what we got. Plug these guys in. Let's see. And then, yes, yeah, as, as we go through here, guys, if you guys got any questions, you know, please let us know. Um, we're happy to help. Okay, so let's see. Okay, size seven, 34, eight. So they got seven, eight, nine here. We can see um, these aren't actually profitable on the website. Um, we're paying like 21 ish right here. So these are actually pretty <laughs> much like break even at like that 37. Right there, however, I can see that these other sizes are really, really good. They're just currently out of stock. Um, the cool thing is we can actually click into these on Amazon, see them live here with none available. Right, so we can see if we refresh this, take a look at the Kipo, we're probably going to be able to find this elsewhere. You ever sold these? I know Victory ones we sell all the time. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, okay, here we go. Yeah, a couple of those. No, I mean, not heavy. Maybe. Really, what was the, like the JDI ones, I think? Oh, but honestly, yeah, oh my yeah, god. Those used to pump yeah. back in the day. Do you find some clothes that are out of stock. Is there anything you have to do differently when you list them? So you have to find the ASIN, right? It's, that's first and foremost. So a couple of ways you can go about it. First and foremost, you can take the parent ASIN, plug it in to add a product from catalog, like the Seller Central. Uh, that'll bring up all the variations that exist in the catalog. And you'll just kind of have to sift through, sort through to find the one that you're looking for, right? There's going to be all the out of stock ones um that you're looking for the problem oh. is though if it doesn't exist in the catalog it's it's pretty difficult to actually get it added so that's the one thing that you want to have to audit all right and oh yeah starting off okay w's guys first w of the day here ladies and gents let's get to it 25 bucks 25 bucks make sure these are in stock and ooh, okay so they're seldom in stock we do have a 12 here um let's see they got size 12 here 61 bang first winner of the day here ladies and gents uh and we got a whole bunch of sizes that are out of stock too we can see 62 Right, buy cost is 25. Now, cool thing is, we can see uh, we got these in stock here, right? And this is uh, 25 bucks, 24.99, right? And so we can see about $20 profit, 80% ROI. Uh, we know that this guy moves because it's a common color on a good rank listing, 72 KBSR, um, right here. And then we can see we have a lot of history of profitability up here too, and that we're fine even at 50, right? And this is the kind of thing, this kind of lead where you know you're gonna hop on this FBM within three to five days, say you found an item like this right and that's pretty nice right that's on a little bit of an increase but even at 50 that's completely fine right there 50 right there and then we're talking about fbm too i have sales stocks factor here as well this guy weighs yeah 15 ounces 
So it's going to ship for like six bucks. You spend 25, get nine back or 10 bucks profit back. Life ain't bad. Right. And, uh, that's cool. That makes sense. I, I, I miss anything on that gear. So there's common color. I'd make sense. Mm -hmm. that would be well. Let's see. Let's see if these guys are good too. Cause this is potentially white black right here. Oh yeah. These are good too. Same item, different website. 10% cash backs popping too, man. 26. Right here, look at that. Size 11, pump and 84. Size 10, 63. Gotta love it. Right? That's it. Ah, the 10's out of stock though. Right? Um, so let's see. Right? 12, 13, 61. Yes, yeah, so that's a... Oh, yeah. So that's a good example of buying the same item from multiple different websites. We'd see a size 12 ones in stock on Shields. That was good. A size 13 in stock on Nike.com. That was good. Um, right there. So 26. Right there. So life ain't bad, man. Right, and you gotta love it. We'll fresh just take a look at the keep it chart as well. But that is a that's why I love selling big brands like this. Yeah, look at that. We have a whole month straight of profitability here. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we can take out that new price. We can see sometimes where there's no buy box. That's fine with me, man. <laughs> 26 bucks makes 17. Life ain't bad. Let's keep rolling. Do you, do you target specific shoe sizes? I see 12 and a half are generally more profitable. Yeah, so kind of like the happy medium is is where the rank, the the relative velocity to that size or color is still going well but also doesn't really have as much competition as some of the higher velocity ones, right? So you can kind of see as we sift down here how the competition is going to vary, right? A lot of times that heavy, the hero variation has the most velocity, but also the most competition. So you're looking for that sort of perfect combination of good velocity going to a variation, but also good competition to withstand um, enough PR for you to additionally go onto that listing. Look at how far all these guys' delivery dates are. I guess this guy's fine right here, November 29th. But other yeah, than that, a couple days, yeah. Far out delivery dates, yeah. Let's see, I bet you these are good, honestly. And this is a different listing for that same product, um, looking at the picture. Let's see. How, do we, how do you find the parent ASIN? So, yeah, if you go into Keepa, you go to Data Details, it's going to be on that left column. Um, all right, let's see. I think we got a W here. Size 11 in stock. Ah, damn, out of stock. Okay, because these guys got buy one, get one 50% off. Are any of these guys in stock? Damn, so this would be good. This is just currently out of stock. Oh, I guess size nine's in stock. Let's see, size should nine. should be the key PF filters to find the best performing items in brand direct websites. So there's a couple ways to go about it. You can look for increasing demand, right? That's going to be on that top row all the way to the right. That's going to be like change percentage, right? If you want to look for ASINs within a brand that are going up in demand, maybe over the past 30 days, 50%, something like that. You can do that. Obviously, you can sort overall sales rank currently or past 30 days, past 90 days, right? So you can look at the past, look at only products within a brand that's in the top maybe 50,000 of a specific sales rank category. You can do that. You can look for a specific price point. You look for a specific competition level. Uh, you can look for increasing price, decreasing price. There's a lot of stuff that you can be looking for. Yep. Check this out, guys. So here we go. We got to buy one, go in 50% off and that stacks with 20 off 99. So in this case, you would do is just see small orders here. So let's check this out. So say we got these here. So we want the card above a hundred bucks, right? Pre-discount, right? So if we go here, 30 times four, take off that 0.75. That's the buy one going 50% off. We could do math and seller up here. Boom. And then we want to take off 20 from that, divide by four, printer, printer. And you guys saw that was two coupons that went into that, that I just found from looking at the website, uh, the homepage, right? And um, there were actually a couple of those sizes that were out of stock that would have been good too, right there. So that's absolutely a winner. And we found that just from looking at this listing, not finding this one good, finding this one close, um, but then digging in and taking a look at the others right there, which is pretty fire. Miles, you can answer this. Hey, Miles, if I purchase the roadmap lower level in six months from now, I'm ready to do the top tier. Do I just pay the difference? Yes. Yes, absolutely, man. Yeah. So the last thing we want now, there's no guarantee it'll be the same price. Um, but yeah, 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 you're, you're absolutely more than welcome to do that. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. 25 bucks. Um, indie. Yeah. Here we go. We can see that's the same thing right there. Oh, maybe not. It looks like it, maybe. Yeah. That, oh, uh, yeah, it's different. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Different. yeah. Yeah, Okay. We can try his image searching this too, though. Uh, you guys are going to be live on Cyber Monday too, every day, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Pretty much every day from now until Christmas. Yeah, I need everyone locked in FDMing to the moon. Like, I need it. I need it badly. So you guys can't let me down, right? You Whatever questions you guys got, you let us know. Bring it out. Would you guys suggest focusing more on OA versus outlets if I'm an hour away? Um, yeah. Probably, yeah. Because you can find a whole lot. So it would take it right, an hour to the outlets, a couple hours there, hour back. You can find probably two so, so much more if you just lock in at your computer for that entire time span. 
You don't have to pay yeah. for gas. You don't have to worry about traffic. You don't have to worry about the potential of going to the outlets and not really finding the stock that you want. Um, I would say OA is, is the game for you. Yeah, and OA is what's delegatable too, right? You can't yeah. delegate. Mm-hmm. Or RA is harder to delegate, right? Um, okay, if they got the black ones, either it's going to be well. Uh, oh, black one's more expensive though. The reds, so we found these in another video, but the reds are, are hella profitable right here. Let's Andy see. was so pumped to get the roadmap, he bought it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few people have done that box. Obviously, we, we refund them, but let's see. Yeah, 33, 35 bucks, 16 buy costs, nice and FBMable right here. We go down to the FBM calculator on selling 40% ROI. That's a money printer. Um, however, though, they have this. Oh, okay, here we go. This uh this gray extra small is gonna be good here. Oh, big time. <clears throat> yeah, so it's about uh 26 bucks into 47. Um FBM, that should work. I drove an hour to an Ollie's and regretted the hour drive. Yeah, you can find well, you learn, though. You yeah, want. you learn, but yeah, yeah, you know, print that print that FBM off. Okay, that's actually not quite good. Ooh, there's a lot of history of it being good there. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that's gonna have a shot if it gets back. Yeah, there's a very thin floor to get back about 50. I'll probably put this on a watch list or so, but that's not quite good there. The SOP is load, fire up the computer, either buy box bandits in the audio or, or big booty or, mix. Big booty mix 14, yeah. right? Or 20, maybe 15, depending on how you're feeling. And just get to it. Just get to it. Yeah, like seriously, like especially if you got if you guys are in here on a Saturday night or you're just watching this replay, like you clearly care about this stuff. Like we're here to help. The name of the game here the next 45 days is quality listings FBM. Sell through, replenish. Sell through, replenish. Find new agents, find new rabbit holes, find new opportunities, find new coupons, right? And you can clean up on this stuff. And then, right, once you you gotta get on, start getting on Zoom calls while while you source yeah, with the boys, right? Yeah. You can d- divide Very and cool. conquer. Maybe split up brands, split up sites, split up storefronts, and kind of go from there. Fact. Oh, here we go. Here, here's some here's some wealth. Oh, 34, five dollar. Let's get it. 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. We got Dixon. Pickle Rick, Pickle Rick knows. He knows. He knows the strat. The mixes are so key. It just improves profitability as you're sourcing. That's true. It's it's the same thing with posting videos on Twitter and FBM buy box shit. There's just a few constants in the world, and that's one of them. All right, traffic lights here. Please tell me they have a size five here. Ah, damn, man. That sucks. Um, these are out of stock. 15. Damn. Okay. Six, 2.0 kids. Some of these are going to work though. 36, 15, two infant. Aha. Right here. Boom. Yeah. 15 bucks, 35. Bang. You guys thought I wasn't going to find some profit there. Of course I did. <laughs> 15, 12. Boom. Well, $10 profit right there. Life's good. I'm going to see toddler, Nike toddler, cow slides, infant toddler, 2K right there. Two infant, right? Cool. Cool. Sweet. All right. Got to love it right there. Cool, cool. Okay, Kawa slides. 21 is a little expensive on this, but you just pick out stuff you think might be good. Like, for example, okay, we already looked these up. We already found these profitable elsewhere. All right, let's check these out. Single web belt. Okay, three and one. Interesting. Okay, so we got some, we got, well, there's reviews on these listings. So people are buying these. I have no idea if they'll be profitable, but people are clearly buying them. Let's see. Spend- uh, yeah. Good Lego retailers. Um, I would try Lego's Lego.com. Yeah, Lego.com, Kohl's, Target. Um, the problem is uh, Lego's carried a lot by Amazon themselves, so you kind of got to compete with Amazon and third-party sellers, which is typically harder to do. Okay, this trucker hat. Oh, these are lit. Look at the review count here. Remember remember buying these at Marshalls back in the day? Oh, the, the oh, Legacy. Oh, yeah. Big yeah, time, yeah. Like, yeah. Look at all these listings that are popping those up. In the, uh, those in the Legacy guys, right? The, the gray ones or the white ones right there? Yeah, like black. It's Black Friday. Like, there's gonna be some of these are gonna be good, man. Let's get to it on these hats. Oh, look at this wealth being printed. Boom! Look at that competition shooting down, price shooting up for the boys. Let's see, what we got. And then that's as good of a keeper graph as you'll see in terms of like the kind of relationship between offer count and price point, right? That's as explicit as that relationship gets. Twenty bucks out of stock. Let's see, we got these anywhere here. Spend two K Cole's cash in store on replanned items. That's what's up. Oh, Corey's been around for a while. He knows what's up. Yeah, yeah, Corey. Yeah, Corey. Corey's one of my guys. Yeah, Jordan hat. Damn, I thought I found these on WSS before. I might be wilding them. Keep a product finder for profitable Legos is the move, correct? Uh, yeah, kind of. How I mean, you're gonna have uh, to find like that. Amazon out of stock. Yeah, 
yeah, you're going to have to find the holes in sort of like the Amazon being in stock and like the competition level being low. The problem is that Legos get retired in a way that other items don't. So a Lego's lifespan at a retail store is way shorter than that of most items. So you'd probably only want to look for listings that have been around for less than the past two years um, or like two years or two years or less, right? Because you're otherwise you're going to end up searching for items that aren't in retailers anymore, which is honestly, you'd probably be better off storefront stalking, honestly, for that. And then looking at the listing age, 15. Okay, there's an <sighs> Nix keeps canceling my orders. A couple things, right? First, PayPal, right? Obviously, uh, you can use Dick's gift cards. Uh, reach out to customer service, customer support, see what they can do, uh, an offer of, of assistance, suggestions to keep kind of get those flowing for you, or just have customer support uh, place the orders for you, right? So there's a really four different options that you have uh, moving forward to get those orders through. Yeah, this guy's damn close. Um, it's not good. Well, that's though. as that's... steady as possible, though. Yeah, exactly, right? It's probably the kind of thing you toss on a watch list and, and check check back on here and there, but no, probably not going to be another super steady one. But like some, uh, so if we go back to that keeper, right? Something with that stability, I would work extra hard it's to fast. look for that extra margin, whether it be taking that extra effort to go through the discounted gift card or shipping it to your prep center, right? That sort of stability you don't find often, right? So for that sort of scenario, if you need a couple extra dollars in profit, there's other ways you can manufacture that extra bit. All right, these are gonna print, dude. Oh, the, oh no, they're sold out. Did you see that? On, it was on Google. It was showing on Google, the all white ones there. Damn, that's a shame. Damn, because that would have printed, man. That was 11 bucks, definitely out of stock here. Yeah, 24.99, but people are getting buy box higher. I would for sure be able to snag that at 28 somewhere in there. Yeah, like the trend's looking great. That was just out of stock. It's like 28 right there. Yeah, you make like five bucks piece. Whatever, that's fine. It's out of stock, but it's the kind of thing that I figured. What do you do when a detail page gets del deleted? I got 50 of a hot selling item stuck at a prep center with no existing. Um, so reach out to seller support, see if they can help you. If you still have that FN SKU in the ASIN, they may be able to kind of reactivate it for you. Ultimately, that's some of the 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 annoyances of, of kind of dealing with Amazon's play um, sandbox, right? You got to have to roll with the punches and adapt and pivot. Facts, facts, facts. Oh, actually, let me write that down too. Get, I just thought of another website. Cool. Okay, sweet. All right, cool. So yeah, we got I got like 15 websites I want to go through with you guys tonight and tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna pass on that though, right here. Nike brand tee. Let's see. Oh damn, bro. These are these are in stock in a bunch of sizes. We're about to clean up here. <sighs> Is B stock a good place to source product? Probably not. I think that's a liquidation palette sort of situation. No, so and, yeah, as a but sorry to interrupt, Garrett. But as a beginner, you don't want to be looking for websites to source, you want to be looking for products to source via reverse sourcing to validate that other people are already selling that item. It's a good way to put it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Here we go. Uh, so we're paying, uh, we because we got that 15% off, so we're paying like 12 bucks here, 12.50, right? So a couple of these are gonna make sense. That large, that 27 at 12.50 looks great. Um, right there, we got the 2XL, 2XLs out of 2XLs in stock here. Yeah, 29.99. Here we go, ladies and gents, right? This is a good skew right here. Let's go 15. 1275 and then we fbm boom let's call it five probably a little bit higher right this we got a 44 percent roi i think it was 10 percent cash back to life is good all right cool let's do some converse stuff right here although i definitely want to look for these other uh t-shirts too because like these were popping listings like you can just see on the google search like that people are buying or the amazon search people are buying these like crazy so it would it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and try to track these down on amazon too or try to track these down just reverse sourcing yeah, it's 20 k, 21k rank, right? People are cleanly buying the stuff. Converse is a is a is some sauce, right? Because so many people are gonna get scared away from Converse just because it has that IP issue. Yeah. Oh, true, actually. Yeah, which uh it's just a suspected on seller amp. Um, I've sold a bunch of it, so I don't think there's issues. Um, right here, yeah, it's not we don't have an Amazon listing here now. Okay. Let's see, let's take a look here. Cool, cool. And then if you guys are liking this, let us know. Like, let us know questions. Keep those coming. Yeah, we got 101 of you guys in here on a Saturday night. That's absolutely love. We love to see you guys getting after it. We want to help you guys make all the long hours pay off and such. So any questions you guys got, please feel free to let us know. Let's see a great t-shirt right here. 22, 22 into 39. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
This man's yeah, here we go. Twenty two point five. So this is about twenty percent ROI. <laughs> How do you guys ship the products to Amazon? Uh, Warner has Fields of Profit on YouTube as a bunch of videos. Uh, it just wouldn't be it, valuable for us yeah. to kind of go over that sort of information. Yeah, just because it's kind of complicated or it's complicated to explain. But basically, you print out little what they're called F N S K U labels, and then Amazon tells you where to ship it. You tell Amazon how many you're sending in. They tell you what bot if you can send them in the same box, what warehouse to send to. Um, shipping is also incredibly cheap too, which is very, very clutch as well. Um, so they, they make it easy for us, but it's just kind of hard to explain. Yeah. Oh, those are nice. like, like super step-by-step -step things. It's just not a good use of time to, to broadcast around here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the key is you do need to know it. And luckily we have like, we have good videos to help. They just like, no, aren't necessarily in terms of like this one right here. So what are we paying here? So it's uh, they only got a size large yet. So that definitely doesn't work. Um, let's look, let's look this up. Cause this guy, I've seen him on Amazon before. I think <laughs> you can just image search it too. See 22, 28, no. All right, no problem. So let's keep it rolling right here. It's a JDI t-shirt. Very cool. And then we'll dig in on some Converse stuff. Yeah, 50% off almost everything. Guarantee you some stuff's good from that. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Let's see, 21. Are any of these? Oh, 34. I like the look of that. Let's see. And then smash the like too if you guys are liking this. Let me see. Yeah, there's that ski that we really like. Just do it. All red. 22.5, 22.5 into 34. Nope. That's it. Miles and Garrett making us rich. We're not <laughs> making you rich. You're making yourself rich with the information yeah. we provide. There's a big. Yeah. And hanging out here with us, asking questions. Like, you guys make this stuff a lot of fun. 12% cash back is crazy, right? So let's see. Let's start out on the men's ones. Let's see. So 50% off select styles here. Okay. So where do we even start? Let's go. Let's just go black and white here. Let's start. Oh, whoa. Holy crap. 30% off Cyber Week. Okay. I feel like this is a good place to start the super basic chucks here, right at uh, 65 times 0.7. Yes, about 45 bucks. So if these are above, you know, 90, they become good. So let's see. I feel like I should know how much those are going for on Amazon, but I don't. Chuck Taylor. Okay, let's see. There's So now for a lot of these, there's probably going to be a couple of Amazon listings too. So we're going to have to get a little creative you're probably gonna have to look in detail at the pictures making sure shit's correct and everything but <clears throat> you'll be rewarded handsomely if you do yeah something like this where it's like a very very basic product the profit's typically going to be in like a, a weird size right maybe the 14 or the 13 yeah. or something like that where there's still velocity going there but it just doesn't get as much it's not like as as mainstream uh, right exactly see. what's the one at the top yeah here we go yeah 12 monochrome right here yeah look at that standard yeah, men's 12 right here. So let's see. So it's 65 right here. So the the cost is actually 100. It says private label just because it's low competition. Here, so we got 100 right there because it's uh, 83 plus 17 shipping. And now it's 65 times 0.7 right here. So that is a fat ROI with incredibly good cash back too. And you guys see how I found that by just hitting the variations and then taking a look at what was cheap down here. Now, here's the thing though. This is much looking at the keep it chart. This is a pretty slow mover. Um, right here, as I can see. So what I would want to do in this case is probably test very lightly across a bunch of sizes on this. However, we can see this size did have reviews. So we know that this does sell at certain points. Um, Listen, and honestly, something like this, if you're, if you're close to or not wet, something this basic of a, of a color, you could probably list it. And then if it sells, just go pick it up at the exactly. outlet. And obviously that adds a little bit of risk and such, but like, that's the kind of stuff that advanced people do from time to time. Yeah. Now this one's moving a lot more 89 right it's currently at 98 it's historically at 89 right we can see that guy at 72 in the new price uh he's just charging for shipping that's why it's it's like guaranteed yeah exactly right there so we're at 65 times 0.7 right here so that's cool right it's well uh 62 percent ry even if it goes back down to 89 you're still making 20 bucks profit with good um unit economics in terms of the profit per unit also really really good cash back too um so we're one for one so far and we can see there's several sizes in just black monochrome, super basic. And then we got the all white size seven here too. Yeah, same exact deal. It's the same guy in all the buy boxes. They're like, where do you think this guy's buying stuff from? And that's a perfect example of, of a site that you want a favorite store reference from time to time. Because you better believe that they're probably going to be continuing to source. And so because of that... It's gonna be it's gonna be an evergreen sort of resource that when they have fine products now. It automatically gets uh, put onto your radar. Yeah. So this is yeah. So we can see like uh, the and uh, once again, this would be a kind of thing to test lightly, but we can see it's all FBM people right here, and it's all yeah, they're all price high too. And this one guy's not getting the buy box. Let's see why he's not getting the buy box. 
Oh, and would you look at that though? These guys are both. Oh, so this guy actually does have free to. I wonder why this guy's not getting the buy box. That's weird. His delivery date's good too. Um, it might be rotating though. But yeah, a couple good, a uh, couple good variations there. Got a level check. Uh, check how do this. you how do you open sell up when looking at a sourcing website? You just hit the Chrome extension at the top. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and okay. It'll pop yeah, up we'll on right the right hand side of the screen. I, we'd have to make sure there's movement on the Kiva charts, but purely, purely from a pricing perspective, a lot of the stuff's good here already. Let's see, so this is eight women, six men. Yeah, eight, eight women. Yep. Nike is so much easier to sell than Adidas, isn't it? Not necessarily. Um, you just have to account for different factors, right? Adidas has a lot of Under Armour, or not Under Armour, Amazon. Uh, so you just have to account for that in your sourcing. Rocks. Nike just probably has more competition. You have to account for that in your sourcing. Both of them, both of them are going to have to have different factors that you kind of evaluate for. Yeah, look at all that. So look at the spread on the buy boxes here. A lot of people buy boxing at like 89. Yeah. 80. Right there, and then some bozos buy box in a little bit lower, right? But we can see historically, as of the past like month or so, if we go here, data, buy box stats on Keepa, we can see there's a lot of people buy box and hanging out in like the 90 range to the point where to have this sort of buy box share, you probably don't need a ton of, to get like 10 sales, make 200 bucks profit here, like you probably don't need a ton of buy box share. So we, once again, we have more ASINs that are good right there. And that's just such a beautiful thing here, ladies and gents, like we're cleaning up on this stuff. Let's check this other listing here too. 26 carrying. I don't know why there's so many listings for these basic trucks on Amazon, but just how it works. Navy. I mean, it's one of the most, I feel like, basic shoes that exist. Like, so many people wear yeah. them. Yeah, so, like, the demand's popping on this stuff, too. Yeah, here we go again. 82. Uh, just a little bit. So, like, this is the kind of thing where this is clearly a price increase here, so this would be riskier. Um, some people would look at the historical during Q4, and we'd see there is a lot of, there is a lot of history of profitability here guys at this type of price point personally the kind of thing i would i would probably avoid i'm here however certain more experienced or certain experience sellers would potentially get on that we got another listing here too see if there's anything above um that 65 range the size is not available on amazon but you can purchase somewhere will amazon let you list yeah so that the key is you're going to want to find that ace and you're going to want to hunt it down sometimes the size just doesn't exist on amazon it's not inside the catalog which you're kind of out of luck but again, like we were kind of talking about it before, if you go hunt down that parent ASIN, which if you're in Keepa details or data details, it's on the left column, parent ASIN, plug that parent ASIN into Amazon Add a Product and Seller Central. Uh, that'll give you all the different variations that exist inside the catalog. And from there, you can identify the, the sizes in the ASIN that you're looking for. Printer, 71, 71, 17 shipping, 88 right there. Boom, $24 profit, got to love it. And on Converse, you got to go higher ROI due to returns, which is not a big deal. Oh, we, oh my gosh, someone's buy boxing literally yesterday, earlier today at 105. Holy crap. Right there. So that's even better. So we can see we're printing money, right? We're cleaning links, right? Cleaning links. links. Right now. Yeah. Let's find some more of these because we can see clearly there's a bunch of listings for these. All right. Let's get to it here. Jack Purcell. Uh, please share your free Discord community server. It's probably on your bio, right? Yeah, or uh, it's it should be in the description. I can't remember, but uh, you can try. You can go to uh, flowsmiles.gumroad.com too. It'll be on there as well. How to handle FBM returns anyway possible? If they're sellable, sell them back on Amazon. If they're not, eBay, Facebook, Poshmark, Mercari, anyway, any way possible. Look at all the wealth here. Now these are going to be slower movers, right? But we can see these actually do sell. Looking at the <clears> movement <throat> here, they're definitely slower movers though. But um, purely from a profitability perspective, those are popping. Um, not enough velocity for my liking. However, this is, if these listings do have reviews, so we know that they are getting sales. Let's see. Charcoal right here. Oh, yeah, these charcoal ones are popping, right? There's just not a lot of movement on these. Let's see. Now, let's go here. So this is, listing's getting a little fancy. Yeah, so these are cheap. So fit, why the hell doesn't that have a buy box? That's It's $49. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Yeah, okay, screw this listing. 83k rank uh how should i approach that what's that uh what to do when the customer has sent it back but you hadn't received anything um so you'll have to open like a a to z claim with amazon but they'll they'll side with you if you have all the documentation you're fine let's see oh 12 here these are going to be popping you had 12 men's all all blocks here all block low tops and that we haven't even done any storefront stocking either. Like when you find a good commerce link, it makes a ton of sense to storefront stock people on it too. 
Let's see, 82. Oh, this is printing, yeah. So this is very, very, very low comp. We can also see this is totally sold out here too. So this is 60 times 0.70 right there. Yes, about 80% ROI. Gotta love that. Cool. So sweet. We can clearly see there's wealth to be out on Converse, guys. Let's keep it rolling here. Okay, so we want basic stuff, basic stuff. Um, all right, these are not looking like basic things. New arrivals. All right, well, let's just reverse engineer this. Let's just search Converse on here and see what Amazon's showing us. Right, so we already okay. We already looked at those. Already looked at those. Or no, those are those are different. We haven't looked at those ones. Um, whatever the heck these are, I've I've sold a bunch of these actually. Oh, yeah. guys, these are this is a total throwback too. I like this. Um, let's see. We got the low tops. We already did the low tops. Let's see platforms right here. Let's see. Oh, we got some socks. Let's take a look at those as well. We've got more socks here. Let's see what we got. This would be good for the Converse on gate too, just getting it cheap here. 23 right here. Oh, that's as good of a keep graph as you'll see. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Okay. All right. Two, two, see, once you look at enough of these like these graphs, you it's so quick to find to notice and kind of pinpoint good keep a graphs. All right, I mean, it comes within seconds. Okay, word mark. Yeah, here we go. Three pack chucks. Okay, one size. One size right here, so 15 take. Oh, oh, holy shit, this is good listing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, this is a, this is best. This might be the best item we found on stream here in a long ass time. Um, So, whoa, whoa, holy crap. Yeah, 15. Am I missing something, Garrett? It's black with the, it's black with the white. It's a, it's a three pack, right? No show socks, right? What is it, is it, yeah, 50% off with code, yeah. Yeah, so it's seven point five here. Now this says, here's the thing, right? Now this all, this says pretty low estimated sales per month. However, we can see um, this item is clearly printing, considering the price has been stable here, and there's a nice normal oscillation of competition. Yeah. Here. So this is a fantastic product. <laughs> yeah, because offers are coming in, offers are going out, and the price stays, right? And so it's everyone kind of just rotating, sharing the buy box. Everyone's happy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is even better here. <laughs> I'm going to assume the one size is six to 12, which it is looking there. So, wow. So check that out. So here we go. I mean, this is fantastic, right? Now these are going to sell a little bit slower, but they're 39 bucks. You're paying seven five right here. So this is cool. So this is a weird thing that happens with an Amazon. We can see black one size and then we can see, oh, so this is a blue color though. Okay. So it's not black. That's why it said that. I don't think they had, I don't think that blue on here. Yeah. So we're two for two here. These are fantastic items, right? And you guys see how we just searched on uh search on Amazon and said, okay, uh, Amazon, what's selling well for you guys in, the, in this, in Converse's brand, right? And then it just showed us it right here. So let's see. Let's see, so we're clearly, okay, let's see what they got here. So this is black, gray. This is like tube sock vibe. Let's see. You can try image searching this too. Gary, are you with me? Yeah, buddy. All right, see, because I just can't see you. So every, every <laughs> now and again, I, 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 if I don't hear you for a sec. Ah, BOGO excluded, man. Damn, that would have been good though. That would have been good though, because it would have been like 10 and the 13 make like four bucks a piece. Um, that's not good though. Let's see. I guess let's take a look if there's anything else here though, because that, that one skew was good. Oh, Will here Converse we provide an invoice if it's yep. receipt, order confirmation, whatever you got, they'll take it. Yep. Yeah, you're good to go. Got a whole bunch of good skews here. Yeah, look at this. This stuff's popping. See, Trevor knows what's up. You don't need an invoice. You just submit the receipt. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, we got I'll the kind of very low on those guys. Black, white, gray. Hunting Asins comes in. He says, "Dialed in." That's it. Well, yeah. What up? What up, hunting? Hunting Asins. Did you get the Rise and Grind merch in yet? Don't lie to me. Because <laughs> we got the black, white, gray here. Come on, come on, come on. And nope. Amazon really does not like email confirmations for me. Make sure you're submitting it as a PDF. Make sure in the comments you include the ASIN, the brand, invoicing, front gate, all that good stuff. You'll get it. Just keep resubmitting. You'll get it. Trust us. Okay. Uh, 23. Come on. Come on. Come on. Women's 13. Game time. Literally wearing the black hoodie right now. Send a pic. Put it on Twitter. Comment. Yeah, tag yeah, yeah. Pic on Twitter, Hunter. Come on. Tag Miles and I will retweet it. Yep, yep, These are the money moves that need to happen. Zero day handle. Zero day handle. Yeah, like all you all we got we got 104 of you guys watching. I need 104 people in zero day handling time printing FBM. Probably another 500 of you guys might watch this video on replay. 
Like we need everyone firmly in zero day handling time printing the wealth. We're going to war, right? It's either you FBM the product or the kid who used to bully you in elementary school does. Do not <laughs> let them win. Do not let them win. 50s. Oh, whoa, 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 wealth, 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 wealth. 37. Do not let, ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, it didn't, damn, okay. Okay, we got a couple colors. <laughs> the 30, either way. I got a good feeling about these at, at 75 minus 30. Yeah, 52, let's, let's check. <clears throat> you want the platform with ties? Here we go. Cool, cool, sweet. Do not got zero day handling. It works. We don't make this stuff up. I, you FBM, you replenish. Then you store from stock and you find more unique angles, unique products, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. It's very simple, right? The only time you're leaving the house the next six weeks is to t is the occasional uh, drop off, even though you should mainly be doing pickup orders, right? And you're not you're not leaving zero day handling time either. And obviously, guys, we joke around about this stuff a lot, but like it's really, it's like you can really, really like make a ton of progress fast in your life financially, just like really squeezing it during Q4. Like I had, I had like, I think it was, it was like something like 12 coaching students did over 10K yesterday that had started in the past six months, like they were new, right? Like it, it's absurd. Like, and there, a, a couple others did that had been going for a lot longer than some I don't even talk to anymore. Um, but yeah, okay, printer, printer, printer out of stock. People will buy these. 75 right here boom i mean now i don't count on those selling for 130 but like we can see like these were out of stock for a while this is a 9k rank overall this white one's showing up near the top it's someone's buying those right like someone's buying those yeah okay, let's see 7381 uh, well it was that eventually block you from submitting an ungate if you keep submitting it no just close the case open a new one close the case open, open new a new info. one yeah new info change up the pdf name you'll be good to go Ooh, Where do I get a rise and grind shirt? Uh, go find Pete's Flips on Twitter, and he should have a link somewhere in his bio. No, or just yeah. Him. yeah, it's Pete's Flips. Yeah, on Twitter. Here, here's a good skew here. This raw out of stock. Oh, printer forty nine. Let's get it. Forty nine bucks. So I bought two pairs of those Converse sneakers, size twelve and thirteen, as well as the Jurassic Park toys that were doing so well at seven ninety seven. But I can't get ungated. Ooh, okay. Uh, so you need to buy ten to ungate. Um, and just keep submitting and it'll work. Like uh, it's never not worked. If you keep submitting, you can also hit up Amazon seller help on Twitter. And I know we say this a lot. It's just kind of how it is. Luckily you only got to get approved once for each thing. So you just got to go through that process. Okay. These are, these are fire, right? Look at all these out of stock. We're paying 49 bucks. There, okay, now there's nice. no box here, but like you can see people are buying those right there. So that's cool. Yeah, man, you can list out of stock stuff and you could actually, and this is super, super sauce. You could actually look and search and keep a product finder for out of stock listings and source those. And that's a major, major W. If you can identify out of stock variations on listings that do really, really well and map them back to specific sites and find those in stock and source them. You could essentially establish a new market, right? Name your price because you're going to be the only seller uh, and you'll get those sales pretty quick. Uh, let's see these guys in stock here. Ah, oh, women's five. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, five women, three men. So uh, we can see there's, it says unknown fees because this listing's only around 77 days, but this is a 15K rank. Someone wears that size. You know, this color showing up near the top there, right? So someone's probably buying that. We don't have a ton of sales history, but like, you know, as a beginner, it might make sense a listing that looks similar to that to, to grab one or two, right? And obviously you're going to build out your own criteria over time. Everyone has their own risk tolerance and such, but you you build out this stuff. So let's see. These are all like the 95 range, 110, 127. We got some size creeping up here. Let's see what we can pay on this guy. These, yeah, these sell pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I, I would not edit any order confirmations at all. Anything yeah, you definitely. send to Amazon, I would not edit. No. Okay. I bet you the 50% doesn't work here. Yeah. And then it's okay. 30%. Yeah. Plus. Plus 30% classics. Okay, so let's see. 110, so it's not good. Times 0.7. Yes, that doesn't work. 77. Uh, these catch my eye, though, for sure. We're here at 50 bucks. Let's see. Lugged 2.0s here. All Star Lugged 2.0 leather. Yeah, I mean, it's 25 bucks. Like, that's pretty damn cheap. 27 bucks. Yeah, here. Oh, game time. Game time. Here we go. 
Sales rank might be hot. These are just the big shoes. All right. Okay, this is a discuss. Oh, these are leather though. We want leather, 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 leather. Okay. Those are canvas. Damn. Okay. Got a little ahead of myself. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do zero day handling time out here in Hawaii. How do I get around this issue? Ooh. I would use a prep center to do FBM. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, first of all, we just found a fantastic skew. But yeah, respect for wanting to do it from there. You're not going to be able to, though. Um, yeah, you're going to, it's just going to be, unfortunately, it's going to be harder for you than other people. And that's, you, you get rewarded with that tropical weather. Like, it's probably worth the trade off, honestly. Okay. Wow. These are out of stocks. We got women's. Let's see. Uh, men's eight and a half. Women's Michael, that's what I'm saying, man. Those are hideous looking. These are printing, though, man. 25 bucks. <laughs> These are absolutely printing, though. Yeah, 50 bucks, 25 bucks right there. Yeah, you make 60% ROI with fat cash back. I mean, see, we're profitable. 100% 365-day profitability. Got to love it. Got to love the game, right? 100% 360 profitability right there. Are we missing anything on Google on these? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> only as one offer count isn't an IP now because so the we we use the three kind of offer count as a threshold as a guideline right but we know the brand we trust the brand so whether it's a Nike Adidas uh, Under Armour uh, Converse if they have one or two offers because we trust that brand it's it's not necessarily the IP issue right the IP issue doesn't come from the amount of offers it comes from the brand right so those are not mutually uh, simultaneous. Let's see. You missing anything here? 31, 42, 30. Ooh, 30 bucks here. Looks great. Right there. Got the all blacks. Let's see all blacks here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, we got some wealth. Oh, we got some wealth. Look at that. 110. And we can see. Yeah, look, these used to pump back in the day. <laughs> yeah, we you see these totally move. They're 30 bucks. They're 30 bucks right there. Right here. Bang. Gotta love it. That is a fantastic lead. Welcome to Black Friday, ladies and gents. Like this is the easiest time of the year here. Like we can clean up on this stuff. Let's see. Cool. So we got 103 of you guys in here. Appreciate it. Uh, hideous shoes. What up, Jared? Dude, Jared killing it with the pickup orders, man. That's another thing you guys got to be thinking of. Like if you're sourcing big retailers that you have in your town, uh, city or like surrounding area, like always search the retailer and see if they have anything in stock that's profitable that you can pick up today. Get listed today. It's going to make your life so much easier. Very cool. Okay. So we've clearly proven uh, night or Converse is a W, right? Yeah. You think? Let's let's see what Nike stuff they got. Owls. Owls. Let's see. Let's go back to the basics here. Nike apparel. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's $19.99. Damn. Are these guys in stock here? Why did I not show on Google? All right. Well, ooh, ah, in store only. Okay, so someone's gotta look up uh Someone's got to figure out where this, let's see, let's look this up here. You need to do a podcast with TDH sneakers. I feel like we have, we haven't had. We haven't. Let's see. I go way back with Tim. Oh, here we go. So let's see. Okay. So if you're in Utah or Boise, Idaho, um, potentially a big bag here waiting on these, uh, these slides here. Pretty cool. Pick up orders, then source RA when you go to pick up is a no-brainer. Of course it is. Yeah, love it. Yes, 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 for sure. Right? Yeah, yeah we're, Tim, Tim lives near us. We've I've known Tim for years. Miles has known Tim for yeah. probably a lot longer. Yeah, like four and a half years, yeah. Yeah, but he, he lives right where we're from. Yeah, him and I actually had the same warehouse landlord, too. That's a fun fact. Okay, let's see. What's cheap here? The crib I was at? Uh, no, 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 no. The one I was in last year. Not the Delaware one. Yeah, yeah, the one that I, that I visited. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, you remember when you'd come up and we'd uh we'd go to the um that that really good lunch place. Oh yes, fire yeah. the buffalo they chicken. Nerfed, or whatever it was. No, they nerfed the buffalo chicken. Oh no, the, no, 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 that no, that place is the mecca. The the nice place. No, that, like the sandwich, the chicken sandwich. Yeah. Max. Yeah. Oh yeah, they nerfed that. They took away the buffalo part of it. Oh really? I know. Isn't that heartbreaking? We always had the same old guy serving us. Always. Oh, that's a <laughs> Yeah, Danny and I've had him too. Okay, let's see. All right, what can we? What is cheap here? It's looking a little expensive. Typically, these guys hook it up. Let's see. Let's let's see the let's see the good old let's do the good old sort lowest to highest. Bro, that has been like extraordinarily productive the past couple of sources. Yeah, I don't know why, but it it just has. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, what could I see selling for double or more on? Uh, oh, I can see these doing well here on the zone. Let's see. This look a little expensive here. Let's see. Cool boys. 
Let's see. These guys look a little expensive here. Trying to think what I could see going for a double or more on Amazon. 15. These, oh yeah, I could see that doing well here. Let's see. Cotton t-shirt. Let's see. Okay, cool. Sweet. 20 bucks here. Cool, cool. And then yeah, if you guys got any questions, let us know because when Garrett's back, we'll uh we'll hop on this. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. What are we paying? Ah, 20 is a little expensive. I really think there's gonna be 40. 20. Ooh, there. Ah, yeah, close, close. I don't know of any coupons for these guys either, though. This 20 off doesn't really work from my experience, but I have bought bulk on this site though. Let's image search this. Weird colors like this, typically you can just image search, makes it quicker. It's Amazon Canada. Let's see. Okay, I don't see these guys. There's a bunch of good listings here, though. A bunch of high review stuff. Well. All right, we back. Yeah, it was just it was just absolute chaos in the chat ever since you left. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, 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 potentially, potentially, potentially. Watch, oh, this is, so this is a good point. Watch this makes me realize how much I need to pick up the pace when sourcing. Yeah, it's all about disqualifying early and just sourcing efficiently, knowing where to source, what brands to source, what are likely products that are going to be profitable. Having that sixth sense as you source is ultimately going to make your productivity, your output, your money-making ability so much higher. These are these are another profitable one that's in store only though. But we can see if this is located anywhere though. Let's see. Oh, shout out the boys over at Academy here. Yeah, fourteen ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine here. Boom, check that out. We can see right here. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Right. Let's see, got the got the back there. Yep. Cool. Sweet. All right. We got the four dots. We got the four dots. Boom. Love to see. We got a couple sizes. Good too. 35, large, medium right there. That's a good skew, right? Can't complain. Let's take a look at what other stuff got we got here. Ooh, okay. We got a bunch of listings here, potentially. Extra small, 10 bucks, white. Nah, these are probably good somewhere, though. Ooh, ranks high on these guys. We want to pay like eight bucks. I miss anything in the chat? No. Cool, cool. There's only okay. two comments since I left. All right, cool. Sweet. So maybe you're the star of the show all along. Or just I here think to... everyone has known this for a while. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I was, but clearly, you know. <laughs> why. So, 20 bucks. If you're starting to get ungated, to do you need to buy 10 of this identical item, like 10 socks, or you can mix and match? No, it has to be 10 of the same mason. 10 of the same mason, yep. Don't yep. make, don't make, don't overcomplicate a simple process. 10 of the same oh, mason yeah. can 10 be of the super same cheap. Yep. In store only. These are probably good online somewhere, though, especially this time of year. Let's see, yeah, sixteen k rank. These are popping. If anyone's got that in stock, lo like, if yeah, if anyone's in Utah, these are these are printing there locally. Well, let's see. I think Nike discontinued these. Let's see. Four. Nope. 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 Uh, let's see. Twenty one. Nope. All right. No problem. Let's see, I like the look of these at fifteen though. Right here. How do you handle returns for socks if they were return used? Um, sell them on eBay, put them on your feet, do something with them, give them as Christmas gifts. Stock Either suckers. way, though. Yeah, you can get you can get your money back through Amazon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll happen from time to time. Oh, all these are damn close, man. Fifteen bucks in the twenty nine. That is damn close to being good. I don't think it's quite good though. Maybe if you're no tax, because I have tax factored in already. So maybe if you're no tax, talk about FPM. Yeah, actually, yeah. What are these? Looks like there's some seasonality in that too. I'm sure they pump in the summer. Yeah, let's check that. It looks like it was just starting to come up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's wealth printed here. Serious wealth printed. Holy. So that's the kind of thing where we might look like morons for not stocking up on us. I'm not a fan of that model, but like you also got to consider this is probably the cheapest these are going to be for a while as well, right? Just thinking to yourself, you know, right here. So that's a pretty good chance. That's pretty, pretty cheap there, too. Let's see. Draft it legend to you. File probably... safety claim and get refunded. That's it. Flipping yeah. markets. That's Brandon, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Brendan's man. Brendan's man. All right, let's do a little hibbit action. We got twenty five percent off right here. 
25% off no minimum. Gotta love it. Right? Let's see what we got here. The boys over at Hibbit. Hibbit's also a great place to price match from, too. Okay, let's see. Is that still like the first level of initiation as an Amazon seller getting banned from Hibbit? The Hibbit ban? Well, so now there's different levels though, right? Because I would consider the first video on Twitter where you tag everyone and because no one knows you, you get 10,000 views just because it's a pattern interrupt. I would consider that part of the initiation. Yeah, yeah. However, a lot of people did never get to that point, right? But I would consider that the initiation in terms of like the I'm pretty sure you're going to win club. I would though. I would. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Hibbit ban, um, first couple FVM orders, Nike on Gates big. Um, you know, it's easy, you know, a bunch of, bunch of, you know, stuff like that. Oh, it looks like we got a first time listener, Melissa Miller. Miles, if you had to break down what we do in, in two minutes, give it okay. to us. Cool. All right. So most people don't know that 60% of products sold on Amazon come from third party sellers, which is either people who create their own product, buying stuff from China. That's called private label or people who resell name brand products, which is what we're talking about, right? So there's a couple sectors of reselling name brand products. You can buy stuff in bulk, which is a little bit risky for beginners and harder to get started with. Or you can do what's called retail arbitrage, where you can go in store and get products. That's a really, really good way to do things. Or you can look on big websites and on Amazon and try to find an arbitrage between the two, which is called online arbitrage, which is what we're doing here. So for example, we know there's a Black Friday sale going on on the, web the website called Hibbit. So we're digging around the clearance section here to try and find deals, right? So as I'm scrolling through here, I know on all these items, I have another 25% off, right? So I'm taking a look. It's like, okay, as I go here, what could I see selling for double or more on Amazon after I get that 25% off? So like, for example, here, we're paying like 10 bucks. I feel like I could see that selling for 20 or more, right? So we're going to reference over that, that over to Amazon and see what we can do here in, in, in terms of seeing if that comes to fruition. Right. And then once we get these procs in, we order them to ourselves. Typically, we ship them off bulk to the Amazon FBA warehouse. However, this time of year, it is much quicker to fulfill the orders directly to customers because there's a lot less competition on these products. So you can just do direct consumer and list products a lot faster, which you typically can't do other months throughout the year. Um, and then Amazon pays you out every two weeks. If you're shipping products in bulk to Amazon, you can ship them all in one box. Most of the time, Amazon tells you where to send them. Um, they tell you if you can send multiple products in the same box. And um, it's a lot of fun. There's a fun online community that we're all a part of where people meet and mastermind around the stuff because it's pretty boring to do um, and a lot pretty lonely and hard when you do it on your own. So uh, Garrett and I try to get out, spread the word online so we can meet cool people to do this stuff with and, and make friends with. Um, I don't know. We have 150 podcast episodes where we talk about this stuff all day, and it's, uh, it's a good thing. That was as good of an explanation as you could have done. Cool, cool, sweet. So he, that's what's up right there. Yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, Melissa, go through Miles' videos on YouTube, my videos on YouTube, get a Twitter account, start following all the people that follow us on Twitter. Instagram too. Yeah, like wherever you consume content, there's people talking about this stuff. And it'll be like the one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is just have more Amazon, anyone watching this, have more Amazon conversations than anyone else's, right? That's a pretty surefire way to, to get results other people aren't going to be able to get. Let's see if okay, those are not good here. <clears throat> got four bucks. New seller trying to get engaged at Nike. Got this after being the at declined four times. Repeal the decision. Reply. So you want to always close the case and open a new one, right? So buy 10 of something super, super cheap from Nike.com. Uh, submit that invoice as a PDF to the application. Put in the comments, ASIN, whatever it is, invoice for Ungate, and then you should be good to go. If you get yeah, declined, which you probably will, close the case, open a new one, rename the PDF something else, and keep going. Here's a good skip. Ah, oh, rank's too high on this, though. Damn, that was going to be profitable, though, from Hibbit there. Even though they don't, they say don't submit a new application, is that okay? Yes, of course. Don't they look at what they say. They say don't submit with the same info. Luckily, you can easily change the name of the PDF and submit with other info. 18 ounce. Damn, that looks like a good deal. 32 though, 32, nine. Let's see, we got variations here. Seven. Damn, not it's not quite, not quite right there. Okay. Let's see, let's see what else we got here. Nike Pro snapbacks. I don't think that's gonna be good, but we can take a look here. Ooh, ooh, wow, wow, okay. It's expensive. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
black assuming that's a that's a black, which i don't think it is we can see though nope <laughs> um how to get where to go how to get unlimited labels from ups yeah you have to create an online account and they'll just send them to you yeah yeah so you can order i think it's like one a month through the website but then if you email them, they give you more too all right, here's a banger skew. Oh, this is one of the best items we found so far today here. Oh, I have those socks. Those are so comfy. Really? Really? Are, are these the way, what you wear during the Ironmans with the double sleeves? Uh, Yeah, the pro ones. They just have so much extra padding, low-key. Low-key, okay, cool. All right, sweet. So uh, typically I wouldn't recommend buying stuff from a – I never really would, but there's only nine left of these, so someone feel free to snag the nine left of these if you're not banned on Hibbets, 76% RY. Um, it'll FBM even cheaper down here. Yeah, it's 80 percent ROI FBM. Oh um, yeah, someone go buy these right now, please. Yeah, yeah, that that's an absolute printer. That's if we go print. check back in five minutes and they're still there, I'm gonna be so disappointed in the hundred people that are in this chat. It's cool. Okay, sweet, sweet. Another trick I use is to flip the PDF upside down for um for ungate resubmit. Great success, oh, nice. right? Yeah, I like the way you're thinking. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool, cool. Uh, is Jordan Products part of Nike? It's a different brand on it's Amazon. Brand. Yeah, on Amazon for whatever reason. Yeah. Let's see. What else we got here that's cheap? 16 core softball. I kit. did the free UPS labels that got to my house in two days and they sent a fat roll over 2,000 labels. Yeah, get sure. the free labels. Get the free labels. Yes. Absolutely right here. 16. Damn, they got hella stuff on stock on sale here. Holy crap. Let's see what else. Oh, oh, reverse. Do you one. aim to use gift cards for sure? I mean, it does add a layer of complexity, like a complication to your order process. It takes a little bit longer, but it's a good way to add extra margin. It's a good way to get around cancels, uh, and it's a good way to just kind of facilitate your orders uh, in an organized way. Yeah. But it's, if you're ordering completely uh, using gift cards, you'll want to make sure you're organized, right? You'll want to make sure you identify and map order confirmation, order numbers to specific gift cards in the case that something gets canceled. You want to make sure gift cards get reimbursed with the amount that's that it should be, and that it, it happens in a timely manner. See, eighteen. I like the look of some of these. Yeah, uh, eighteen, maybe fifteen. Yeah, we'll see. Like, there's a lot of the stuff. I'm not sure if it's good, but we're gonna take a look just because, like, it might be. You know, All right, team right here. Impression. Let's see. We got a couple listings right here. Potential. So we got white, large, double XL. 15, absolutely not. Okay. Double XL here. Oh, hell yeah. Damn. How'd that end up being good there? Wow. Okay. 19. Yeah. 41 right there. Yeah. This is this, like these, these have sold. Yeah. We can see like they were out of stock for a while. Right. 19. Take off that. Boom. Yeah. It's like a really, really good ROI. You got a lot of downward uh, action that these can go to. I'm um, going to be fine there as well, which is pretty awesome too. Let's see. Then we got white. Double XL here. Yeah. Another listing. Absolutely not good. 25. Damn, that medium's printing there, though. It's, they got that size out of stock, though, unfortunately. But let's uh, let's see. Let's see here. We got medium here. Oh, game time. Game time. Hell yeah. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, my wealth. Okay, now let's check this out. This is an interesting keep it chart here, right? Because we can pay 15 right here. So it's 19. Take off 0.75 right there, right? So the, I mean, the ROI is off the charts here, but we can see it's it's consistently lower, right? But I mean, that's like a gorgeous keep a chart, right? Like there's a lot of opportunity, right? And that what I might consider doing here is paying for expedited shipping from Nike, right? And then cleaning up and seeing what we can do in terms of further um, on that. So paying for expedited shipping from Nike and then trying to get that listed really, really quick or like seeing if there's any other retailers like block potentially like seeing if they have this and talk locally to you and such but that is a that's a good skew right there ladies and gents right and we know are we paying 15 across the board here yeah we're paying 15 across the board right they got the black ones too yeah so oh, some of these definitely pump yeah the black small here ah black yeah small. i think there's other there's other listings on, on the, for these guys too oh boom ah damn full locker is expensive though okay let's see and then this listing too so we, we already got a couple of variations here that are good too all right so let's uh let's see Yo, yeah. Miles, remember the YouTube videos when you just had hella Lego sets in the way? He still has them all. He still has you them. You actually still have all of them. Yeah, that's good. That's a, that's a good flashback there. 18.97 here. Times 0.75 right there. Yeah, that's a printer, right? Look at that. And once again, like typically you would say no to stuff like this that's recently price increased, but it's FBM season, 
right? Like yeah, we have the luxury to buy into some of these more temporary markets because yeah. this comes so quick. Exactly, right? We were talking about potentially paying for expedited shipping and such, right? So like we can see like there's like both of these are good here, right? And then we can check that other listing too, see if any of these are above you know 30 consistently here too. Yeah, black small right there, obsidian. Obsidian's out of stock though. Right there, wouldn't see red, white, small, 35. That was good. That'd be good too. Um, so we can see that, uh, you know, we can clean up and, and get some nice profit here. Ooh, oh, here we go. It's a, definitely the same person in the picture. Let's see. Right here. What specifically gets you banned from stores? Typically buying a lot, but honestly, like very, very few sites actually ban them. Like very, very few. Like pretty much everywhere cancels are avoidable and scalable yeah uh, oh, oh, oh okay so it's which is used to be i feel like used to be such a huge huge limiting belief but i feel like that's kind of subsided over the time with well, us, much people, talk about gift cards and paypal and all this well, stuff. yeah facts facts yeah and with more and more sneaker resellers migrating over to amazon yes. that's what's become so much more avoidable for the for the common man let's see and then fbm this right here it's gonna have to be on for nothing. Yeah, three. That's hours. insane. You guys just pulled something up. I'm active on that show. I mean, shows a that you're doing the right things, that you're looking yeah, in the right places. Sure, yeah, right here. Buy cost 14, sell for 31. Right there, you make six bucks a piece, six eighty a piece, seven bucks. Right, good cash back too. That's not a bad ski whatsoever. Do we miss anything here either? It's just that one, that one gray, right there. Yeah, okay. Oh, 34. Okay, dashboards come more. From? Uh, oh, so it's, it's two subscriptions. Keepa, you're going to want to get Keepa, and you're going to want to get Celeran. Both of them are under, you know, total under $40 per month, uh, but both are going to be pretty required to get really going with this stuff. Yep, Keepa shows you, or go ahead. Sorry, six bucks profit right there. That's a little uh, <laughs> Celeran is the, the kind of the dashboard on the right that shows us all the profitability stuff pretty quickly. Uh, and then Keepa is in that middle chart right there that shows the historical trending of specific products and gives a lot of further information there as well. Yep. I want to remind you guys, so what we're doing in this video is manual and reverse sourcing. If you want to see a lot more of the Keepa product finder stuff, we talk about sometimes we pretty much save that exclusively for being in the FBA roadmap, which is a hundred bucks off uh, now through Monday, right? So just link in the description if you want that. There's a full money back guarantee. There's also a list of a lot of our favorite Black Friday sales, 50 of them to be exact. Um, that are available and instantly to you if you if you buy it if you want that and it's full money back guarantee too. So we got a couple skews right there, man. So 15 bucks. Look at that. These are all good, right? Boom. Smoke great. Bang. 35. Pay 14. Right. Smoke great. Medium. Bang. 36. Pay 14. Life is beautiful. It's time to get after it this weekend. Like this is so fire right here. Okay. We only got a side. I bet you we're late on this listing, but I got a good feeling about these guys too. Let's see. Oh, size. So, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Size 11 here. Gary, you with me? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Because I can't see it. 18. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 18. Take off 0.75 right here. Boom. Little 33 ball. 10 bucks profit. 71% ROI. Life's good, man. Oh, rock solid, too. Come on now. Come on now. Right? Buy cost 13.5. It's sitting right here. 18. Take off 25%. Right, saddle in 33 bucks, right? Ten dollars profit, right? Life is good. Right here, gotta love it. Right. Right there, let's see. Right here, right here, right here. People we got damn, we got 123 guys in here on a Saturday night. That's awesome. Appreciate you guys being here. Right. We're gonna keep uh, showing out, keep finding links here. We want your Q4 as good as possible. Where the heck did the met the kids listing go here? What's the second best time of the year to buy? It's this week, right? Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and probably right before school starts, right? We call that back to school. Yeah. So it's like that September, November-ish time frame, uh, late July, where people are buying and spending a lot of stuff to get ready, spending a lot of money to get ready for school season. Facts. Let's see, 35 bucks here. Are these shooting up? Ooh, stability, stability, stability busting right here. 21 eh let's see eight bucks i mean that's just like that's staring me in the eye right there at eight bucks 12 bucks here what brand is that nike oh what site you mean no uh, is that oh i didn't see the nike i was gonna say yeah, nike, doesn't look like a nike like material though you know it looks a little janky to yeah me. Let's 
It's a little bit high rank, but yeah, come on now. Right? Size 5, 12, like get, that's fine on the high. As long as I can see movement on the keeper here, which I can totally see movement on the keeper here, looking that, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely fine right there. So that's not bad. Cool, 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 sweet. And we've got a couple sizes that make sense too. Yeah, so it's uh, that 14, 31. Navy blues make sense at all. 26, close, eh. Right there, no problem. Cool, so we can see those look good here. Like your reversible neck warmer. Cool, cool, sweet. Ooh, uh, neck warmer, 29. 29 is expensive, man. What's up with that? It's a different item, though. Ooh, it's a little high rank, though. Yeah, it says PL just because it's low competition. Looks like a good deal here. We got anything coming through in the chat here? Uh, so you guys don't care what you buy. We, so we don't necessarily not care what we buy. We care about the data. All right. So I don't necessarily care if it's a toothbrush, a baseball hat, a soccer sock. I care about the data behind the product, yeah, right? What that product represents in terms of the velocity, the stability, how much competition is, is competing for the sales on that product. Those are sorts of the things that I'm concerned about, not necessarily what the actual product entails. All right, let's see what else we got on here. Let's see. Give me some basic items here. Basic guys. Let's see. We got, all right, let's just do men's. Let's let's keep this easy here too. Let's see. I don't know why I didn't do this from the get go, but let's make this easier on ourselves. All right, let's see. So we got uh, eight. Wow, eighteen hundred too. Price low to high. Let's try top sellers right here. Let's do only shoes. We haven't done many shoes here. Product type. All right, let's see. Actually, what was that hood at? Thirty-eight. Oh, that's expensive. All right, no problem. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see here. Sweet. Okay, so let's see. What can we see going for double or more on the Amazon? Damn, why these drip? This type of thing you would rock, Garrett. What? Oh heck yeah! I <laughs> knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about comfort. I'm all about comfort. Let's just go. Let's go lowest. Let's see what's what the cheap shoes are like. Ooh, okay, so we got some slide colors. I like the look of that there. 3D1 all black. Ooh, I like the look of those too. Panassi's here, okay. So we're paying like 25. Couple listings here to choose from. Oh, we're printing. We're printing. Size 11. Please tell me that's in stock. No, it's only 12, 13, 8. Okay. Uh, 12, 13, 8. All right. So that 8 actually does work. Oh, no, it doesn't. Damn. Okay. So we're, we're, damn. Okay. We're cart jacked on that. Out of stocks. No problem. Uh, only 8 and 13. I doubt those are good. Let's see. Ooh, wealth, wealth, wealth. Ah, oh, those are different. My bad. Should I be listing products? Should I be listing products for FBM before they arrive if they've shipped already? See, that's where it starts to get questionable. The advanced seller who's buying from trusted resources, buying from trusted sites, will to gain that extra advantage within the, the buy box. But the newer seller who's maybe buying from a site that they haven't bought from probably won't. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to get fancy like that. Like It, it definitely adds a little bit of risk, but there's also higher reward. Um, just like moving stuff quicker and such. It's, it's completely up to you if you want to, though. Uh, so I don't really do any shoes anymore. I used to pump them heavy, but not necessarily anymore, as I've gotten more into wholesale and other sorts of things. Yeah. What are these guys going for? Let's see. Ooh, I thought Benassi Black White went extinct. Man, we used to Dude, sell yeah, so all the time. many back in the day. For sure. 20? Ooh, okay. 22? Nope. All right, no problem. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Damn, we're a little expensive. This is kind of underwhelming in terms of what I expected. Um, for here, these Nike Yana shoes are nice, so we can probably reverse our see somewhere. I think if the, I feel like we found those profitable before. Yeah, I've seen the kids ones good for sure. Uh, check private chat. Cool, cool, sweet. All right. Cool. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. 
cool. All right, see see what other see what other wealth we got here. Cool. Ah, oh, sixty nine, maybe. Oh, whoa, whoa! Those light mentas, those light menta, light menta bodies. I bet you these are out of stock though. Let's see. Ah, they only got a size eleven. Okay, so size eleven eighty one. Yeah, cool guys. So we're gonna go for another. Uh, let's see. Yeah, another fifteen minutes or so. We'll go to the hour thirty mark. So any questions you guys got, please. Uh, you know, feel free to let us know, guys. We're around, right? We're around. We we want to help with the stuff, men's. Ooh, 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 ooh! I like the look of forty four here, ladies and gents. Right. So Are those Giannis again? Giannis is again. 83, bang, game time. Oh, so we got some big size, right? Big size, pretty much all the big sizes here. 66, no, 39, no. All right. These might have hit outlets or something. 73, 88, eight and a half. Hey, yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 45 bucks. 60, take off 0.75. Bang, love to see it. Right there, yeah, 60, take off, take off that. And you got to love it, right? You got to love the game. You got to respect the game. Right, you just start using repressor. How long does it usually take for your new listing to show up? Probably like a couple hours, not no longer than a day, though. Look at that, that's beautiful. At a 45 buy cost with 12% <laughs> cash back, like a super trusted retailer, you gotta love that, right? You gotta love that. Like, this is this is a Q4 type item, like, these items are disrespectfully cheap, right? Um, see if we're missing anything on these guys, but that one size was very, very good. Let's see these, uh greens these guys are looking me in the eye too 12 three reviews but it's only been around for 207 days oh but ah it's still not good enough black reds though right here let's see black red 15 <laughs> 14 all right we're, we're making progress we're making progress damn those would have been good 8.5 93 let's see uh, 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 for engaging, what if you cannot buy more than five of the same ace and converse won't let you buy 10 of the 10 of the same? Two, two orders of 10. Just do the socks, though. Honestly, for the ungate, though, that'll be that'll be way easier. But yeah, two orders of five, two orders of five. Combine. And then you'd combine the pin PDF. It's yeah. one at one out of the other, yeah. So we thousand W, right? Uh, we also see, see what else we got. Let's see, we got anything. Let's do, let's do a little dick sporting goods. Let's see right here. I just got a list of sites. We'll do some more tomorrow. But yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, so guys, the blueprint to scale right here. The next couple months is FBM, zero day handling time. Make sure you have a repricer on as well. Once you have 10 plus ASINs, it makes sense to start getting after it, right? The repricer affiliate links in the description too. I have a full tutorial on my channel. You should definitely check that out. Um. Zero to handling time if you can. That's going to skyrocket your FBM buy box share. However, once December hits, you're not going to need zero to handling time because stuff's going to be selling quick regardless, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. You get stuff listed ASAP. You do pick up orders if you can, right? Like people are popping off left and right. When, when you have the FBM orders, once you've completed the mission or are in the mission, right? You take the pictures of the FBM orders, you tag us on Twitter, right? And then you, you go and you buy more, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. You buy, you FBM, you replenish, right? That is the playbook here. Repeat until nine to five job is unnecessary. <laughs> more. See these toddlers here? 31. Ah, let's see. Let's give these a quick. I don't think there's gonna be good though. I could I could see a, a new a new little long stref posted up in these in, in 10 years down the line. Posted up in oh. <laughs> oh, these are out of stock. Damn, bro. 22. All right, well that I can get down with here. That's actually, that was what, that's like my parents' go-to baby shower gift is the little, that's, oh. little, <laughs> that's like such a good idea too. Let's see any of these guys cheat? Let's look this out. Let's see. These are probably good from summer though. A lot of these hoodies are good too. Let's look for those sweaters though, but I know those hoodies are good for a fact as well. These I, I bought a ton of these for like thirty bucks on Snipes like six months ago. One of oh, those ones, yeah, yeah. Fifty-two, nah. Let's see, thirty-one women's. Nope. All right, Tilly's. Let's see what Tilly's got. Any clearance for the boys? Uh, 
I'm just writing down sight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we got some wealth. I think we got some wealth. I think we got some wealth here, ladies and gents. So you got the beanies. 41, that's a little expensive. Nike P beanie, sportswear beanie. We'll definitely take a look at that. Uh, men's slides. Speaking of that, these Jordan Post slides are fire too. Let's see, Jordan Post slides. Jordan's a good brand. Let's see right here. You have like four, I think like 15 on that. <clears throat> Financial gain says Yo Miles Source Shoe Palace. Ooh, I'll write that down. I'm gonna write that down. Good call. Good we'll call. be on for we'll be we'll do a marathon tomorrow. We're gonna be on for at least two hours tomorrow at some point during the day. So make sure you're hip to the timeline. I do have a three hour car ride back to Miami, but <laughs> either today or Monday. But I, I I guarantee you it will happen. I, I I'm not sure which day, but there will be a big one tomorrow on the late night. I could feel that. Yeah, I could super be down with that. I'll be back some in apparel going to have crazy return rates. Yeah, some of it is, but you'll have data again that that backs that up as yeah, you start to get experience. With yeah, you don't get the type of cash back you get in apparel and other types of products too. Like it, it evens out as long as you're doing. And shoes are the bad one, but like a lot of like like socks will be really low. Shirts if they're men's, like certain things you'll you'll figure it out as you go though. Let's see, thirty-seven twenty. Let's see, boys, damn, this is expensive, man. How are these not good anymore? See little kids. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's the gray one now. Aha, medium. Damn, that would have been good. They're just out of stock though. Let's see if it would work though. Let's see. Nike Sports Rubini. Ooh, okay, here we go. What are we paying here? Ah, oh, these are 29, 20. See, they got that tan color though. Banana. Nope. All right. Let's see this hoodie. Or this hood. Let's see these look a little expensive hoodies. Yeah, those are those are profitable from other sites, though. They're just a little expensive on Tilly's, it looks like. Three packs. I don't think those would be good. Kids. Sportswear club hoodie. Let's check that for sure. Oh yeah. 29 might be a little expensive there. See, women's Black Friday shopping sales hit an all time high of $9.8 billion in the US, 7.5 year over year increase. Run it up, run it up. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, run it up, man. Like, like, seriously, like this shows you guys are in the right industry. Like, next year, if you guys weren't printing yesterday and today, you're going to be printing, right? Because it'll be a whole year better, right? Take notes on what you're learning this Black Friday as well. Uh, your favorite sites, what deals they have going on, when FBM popped off, like FBM. I would say really, really kicked off for a lot of people like a week ago. If that wasn't you, make sure it is next year, right? Like we can all prepare the same, right? And just dial in and, and print stuff to the moon, right? FBM, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. Oh, look at this chart, man. Oh, yeah. Those just print, bro. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Now passing on those. Sportswear club, please, boys, honey. Sports where ah oh, game time, game time, game time. 30 bucks. This yeah, buddy. Yeah, from WSS. It's been good for a while. For sure. First year building ASINs for next year. Yeah. And so as so Miles has shown this, but like start making sheets, right? Seasonal sheets of of things that yep, check for future. Maybe stuff that's starting to pop off for Q4, like winter items, sweatshirts, sweat or uh, winter hats, beanies, that sort of thing, right? Take notes of all these things. So now next year you're proactively able to source. You have a starting point point of things that are you know for a fact are going to pick up in demand, pick up in price. So you can start there, right? And take a note of the sellers who are selling all these interesting things, the winter hats, right? The, the, the snow pants, all the, all the winter related things, maybe basketball stuff, all the sweatpants, sweatshirts, all that sort of stuff. Take notes of who's selling this stuff. So that next year you can, again, reference these sorts of things and, and, and take so much more action. It'd be so much easier if they like told us which ones were which prices, but regardless. Keep her on here. Let's see. Let's go to men. What to do if sites won't let you add 10 of them item? There is there a workaround. So you don't necessarily have to. So sometimes sites have different restrictions for different sorts of products or so try a bunch of different stuff. But also you don't have to go to that specific site. 
right? So obviously you can go to Nike.com, but you can also go to Colts. You can go to Foot Locker. You can go to Dick Sporting Goods. You can go to any specific site that has that particular brand. Let's see, 13. Ooh. Damn, those, these- yeah, those if those are like a $15, $18, those might be good, especially yeah. sh- like super light to ship. Facts. Yeah, 13. What are the details of an order then? Uh, it would all document after placing an order from a retail site such as purchase. Yeah, so it's 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 really important if you're using a gift card or a discounted gift card to document what order number that is, what amount that order number was for, and ultimately that gift card or gift cards that that order is connected to. Right? Because worst comes to worst, right? If that order gets refunded, you want to know exactly what gift cards were used for that order, how much should be going to each of those gift cards, so you can really efficiently make sure all the money comes back to you as it should in an efficient manner, right? You don't want to have to go hunting for what gift card number matches up to what order and make sure that the gift cards get refunded at the same amount. It's a headache if you're not organized in that way. But for the people who are organized, you can add 5 3 10% extra margin on all of your products just by using those gift cards damn so this is profitable and that some of these other sides are out of stock but this is a damn good see if you can find these in stock 21 yeah oh big time please tell me it's in stock oh okay, okay. Sell well during winter it also some of them may right but it's yeah, all depending on the data yeah sales ranks low it does yeah fact like fact of the universe it does now here here we go here here we go boys and girls you want to see some oa stuff i'll show you some oa stuff here we go. So these are in stock on Shields. Fuck, the size we need is not in stock. I was going to say price match it over to DSG, right? Uh, or price match from DSG to Shields. If you just look up Shields price matching right here, they have a good policy, right? Um, unfortunately, can't do that though. Because uh, the size we need isn't in stock. But I, you guys see where I was, you know, where I was, where I was coming from, what I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah, financial hands. It's important to realize that we don't buy the products, right? We buy the data. I don't care what the product is. I'm buying the data that that product represents, right? Whether it's a t-shirt, a toothbrush, shoes, whatever the case may be, I'm buying into and investing in the data, right? The historical data, the current data, the 90-day buy box, the trending offer count, the historical average of the sales, like all those sorts of things we're buying into because that really makes or breaks the products that we're buying. Damn, that's cheap. Why is that 22 bucks? Uh, Medium's in stock, that would be good though. Let's see, not in stock though, anywhere else here? 13, 15. Ooh, okay. Ah, out of stock. Any of those make sense though? 13. Nope. Okay. I'm just a little, little, little late on those guys. No problem. Dry fit icon. What do these end up being? 19. Yeah, it's a little expensive. Tinny shopping. Let's see. Ah, 13. I like that. Cool, cool, sweet. So yeah, guys, roadmaps linked down below if you want some more of this advanced stuff. Or so uh, like a shitload of additional advanced stuff, basically. Um, and such. Let's see large tall here. Let's see these guys in stock. Let's look this up here. Typically these print from Nike.com. So certain size might be out of stock though. Let's see, we got small tall there. Small they don't have. Let's see. Small tall, medium tall on the blacks. 34. Damn, yeah. So uh, this is the kind of thing where this is like a great type of item to put on a spreadsheet and check back on in the future. Um, because we can see there's a lot of a lot of profit. Like a lot of these tall sizes are really, really expensive. Um, they're just not quite where we need them to be to be profitable right there, which is fine. You know, stuff happens from time to time and such, right here. Take a look and see if we can find a couple layups here on Nike.com as well. Cool, cool, sweet. Okay, let's see. Let's find a couple items. Let's see. Let's go men's here. Gary, you with me? Yeah, buddy. I only got like two more minutes, though. So. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Let's see. You got a game on or something? Or what? I guess it's Saturday. I'm going to get some grub. I haven't eaten oh, yet. Are you going to the donut place? <laughs> uh, no, I think that's they stopped making those after like six or seven. True. I know, man. I know. Okay, let's see. I got better speed up here and then find a leader, too. Let's see. Oh, there's dry fit icons. Let's see. Tank tops, right? I'd like to look at those for sure. Let's see. But yeah, remember that was crazy though, because that place is like a bar too. That 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 whole yeah, concept. That was know. unmatched vibes for the yeah. um, March Madness. Yeah. Remember, remember that's when we, we met all those guys in person for the first time? Yeah, Nick Spizak, uh, I think Steven for the first time. Yeah, a bunch of them. No, Steven wasn't there. Steven was in Boca. Size large here. Boom. Game time. Ooh, 
Ooh, out of stock though, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Damn, that would have been good though, man. That was in stock, 16, take off that right there. It becomes 12, or my bad, 19. Take off that right there. You make like six bucks a piece. Um, we can see if there's anything good here though. Miles, why are they why, why are they be using you for the model for that shirt, bro? Low key, low key, yeah. <laughs> 30. Oh, here we go. Game time. 22.5 into 42. Gotta love it right here. 30. Take off 0.75. 44 makes seven bucks piece. Super low competition too. Very, very light type of product. And once again, too, this is like a Q4 specific type of lead. Typically, you wouldn't want to buy something that wasn't consistently profitable like this. However, when we're talking about hopping in this buy box in just a couple of days, maybe paying for expedited shipping. A lot of products become a lot less risky. There's obviously a chance that it goes back down. However, we're talking about pickup orders, potentially getting this item in stock, you know, same day and such, maybe seeing if this is on a different website. Obviously, Nike.com, you can't really do pickup orders on, but other stuff, there's going to be a lot of opportunity like that um, as, uh, as well, just as, uh, you know, the, the season develops here, right? Like pickup orders really, really can be life-changing for stuff. Like getting stuff in hand, same day. Kohl's is really good at pickup orders. Dicks, Hibbit, uh, Academy, if you got there nearby, Walmart, right, where you can pick stuff up same day, get stuff listed same day, and eliminate so much competition as well um, on that. So we appreciate you guys watching this for sure. Cool, sweet. Okay, we got, damn, we got 100 of you guys in here still. Appreciate you guys sticking with us um, on this. Yeah, exactly, right? You know, do short sell. I know we answer this, but the data is going to tell you, right? If the sales rank's low on something, it's still selling right here. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow for more of this stuff. Um, just let us know if you guys need help. Um, if you want the roadmap, it's linked down below. 22 plus hours of video content. There's a weekly Zoom call. There's all the coaching call recordings. So you can go back to last year and watch last year's coaching call recordings. A couple bonuses this weekend. It's the only sale we've run all year. It's $100 off. And you get the Black Friday bonus as well, which is the 50 list of 50 sites. So if you want to see like a lot of my favorite sites, just check that out. It's in the helpful documents and Discord link section of the course. I'm pretty sure Michael has been here like the entire time. Yeah, appreciate it, Michael. Appreciate it right there. You see, I've been somehow the water lasted the whole way. I low key, if we were going to go two hours, I was going to take a water break. <laughs> right. Uh, I was planning on doing it around the hour now. But yeah, we'll, we'll get out there. For unfulfilled volumes, yes, yes. It's just on you to make sure they do. Sweet. Uh, All right. Good night, everyone. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Be great.